Uh, welcome Mr. Hawk, welcome to Sardinia, welcome to Cagliari. So can you please give us a, a short focus of your speech at this moment? So what I'm going to talk about is how living in an uncertain world, like we have at the moment, with lots of uncertainty with immigration and with um, democracy and many issues like this, can sometimes affect who you think you are. So your, your sense of identity, where you belong, what kind of a person you are in the world. And when this happens, you need to resolve that uncertainty because it's, it's very uncomfortable. And if you're uncertain, you can't decide what you're doing, where you're going, how you should speak, what you should do, how other people will perceive you. So you want to resolve that uncertainty. So that can be quite good sometimes. You come together as a group um, and groups can be very good. But sometimes if it's very acute, you tend to lean more towards what you might want to call extremist groups or populist groups. And that's a really bad thing. So that's kind of what the talks can be about. Uncertainty in the world around you makes you feel uncertain about yourself. You resolve it through identifying with groups and belonging to groups. This can sometimes be a very good thing and sometimes a very bad thing. And um, you are going to talk to um, many students during your life and today as well. So how self and identity are conceived among young people, especially you mentioned the issue about the um, the mate, the democracy, the yeah, groups, yeah, 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 yeah. the importance of the group. So how self-identity are conceived? Well, I'm not a young person, so it's difficult to, <laughs> difficult to know, but I teach lots of students, mainly graduate students, and I think they, so they're older, they're early 20s, um, I think they see it very much the same way as everybody else. These are very general, general impacts that we all have living in an uncertain world. Young people often um, spend a lot of time resolving uncertainty because they're becoming, moving into adulthood. And it's part of what all young people do. We've, we've all done this. Um, resolve uncertainties to become the kind of person we want to do. I think the difference is nowadays there's the internet. Right? There has been for like 20, 30 years. But at the moment with social media, it's huge. So I think that's something that I probably never did to resolve the uncertainties about how I, work, how I am what sort of person, but if you're a young person, say 20 or something like that, 21, I think they do that a lot more. But they're, they're uh, split. They sometimes think this is a good thing, but quite a few young people think this is kind of a swi slightly dangerous way to do it. Um, do you think, is there a recipe in order to solve or to cope successfully with this, um, with this gap of um, identity, uncertainty, this world of uncertainty? Do you have any advice for young people well, I suppose the advice you want to be able to give is don't turn to the dark side, because this is very damaging for yourself, for the people around you, and for society in general, and the organizations you work for. And the only piece of research that we've done, and we're sort of, which seems to make some sense, is if you have a very frail identity, you're not sure how to resolve your uncertainties, all right? That means that that's, that's a situation where you can turn to this, the dark side. I think if you're more confident about yourself, you can turn the other way. And one way to be more confident is to have many identities to begin with, to have a diverse identity, to have an identity to do with your ethnicity, an identity to do with your university, an identity to do with your job. You have many different identities, like a forest, with many different aspects to it. So I think one of the things that's very powerful is that the trouble is we live in a world, particularly as you grow older, I mean, mid-20s, um, work can dominate your identity. So what happens if you lose your job? That's the only identity you have. So I think this notion of a diverse identity, general identity, with many different identities, um, with identity complexity, I think that is one way to sidestep this. Sadly, I don't think the world encourages this.